What's going on, YouTube? My name is John. Welcome back to another Jumpman Junkie 2 YouTube review. Told you guys I was coming back with the Jordan 3s. Got a woman's pair uh, of Jordan 3s right here, but I think this is such a clean pair. White box, obviously woman's box, gold Jumpman. I like the woman's box. It's plain. Got the gold 23. Got the woman's Air Jordan 3 retro. Colorway is white, dark mocha, and atmosphere. 12 and a half women's, which is an 11's men. $200 suggests a retail price. Gold 23 on the paper. Look at these. These remind me of the mocha's only woman's version, which has the pink on the midsole down here. We have a pink Air Jordan hang tag. I think the pink on this is absolutely beautiful. One of the things I do really love about this shoe is the pink nubuck on the, or the mocha nubuck on the elephant print. Leathers seem to feel very nice. Got that nice pink jump man. And this is my favorite color, um, or favorite shade of pink is this really light, kind of mono text on the pink it's just a really light color it's not hot pink it's not super bright it is just a nice mellow pink got that on the outsole as well got some red on the outsole with the jordan more of that mocha and sail i think the sail on the midsole is very clean on these toe box shape looks really nice pink behind the tongue with your 12.5 us woman size pink on the insole with a mocha jump man check the other one out we got our shoe trees this will be a quick review. I know this shoe is not overly popular. I will say they made a mistake right here with the stitching. I could care less. Um, you know, it does bother me a little bit. I'm not going to say I could care less, but I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. Uh, because what they do is, and that's how you know they do these shoes, not by hand, by sticking and poking in like you see on those, you know, people make their custom Jordans. This is done with a machine, but they have to still start the machine and then move the shoe around. And if they make a small mistake, it came out of the groove. Everywhere else looks really good, though. The stitching everywhere else looks pretty good. The paint job looks good. The leathers look great. The tongue is nice. Check out the back tab. Got that Mocha Jumpman Air. And the new buck is real. You can see the open edge right here. It does feel like an authentic Air Jordan 3. Toe box is nice and skinny. I and One thing I don't really mind is the elephant print is a little wavy around the shoe. But as well as Nike pairs, that can be normal. There is some movement if you look at it at a certain angle. This is real nubuck on the elephant print. I love the tongue. Got the nice sharp lip. Air unit. Got sail in there. Mocha outsole with the pink. There is some paint errors down here. Uh, but I mean, like I said, not the most popular shoe. But I really like it. I really like threes. You got white guts. The padding feels nice. It's not um, nice and smooth around the back of the ankle. It's not all. Sometimes you get them and they're like kind of too thick and, and bunched up. But this is nice and flat and smooth, just like how Nike does it. So super clean. Pink on the eye stays. Mocha on the eyelet. You can see the leathers are very nice. It's a little bit of a stiff leather, but it is very nice indeed. Anyways, if you want the seller, I will link that down in the description. These are the Neapolitan Air Jordan 3 Women's. And Nike does not make a 11 men's. It goes up to a 10 and a half men's, which is a woman's 12. In order to get the 12.5, if you're bigger than a 10 and a half men's, you got to go replica website. But I can't imagine too many people buying these. I think they're super clean. Very nicely done. Love the pink and the brown and the white and the sail all together makes a clean shoe. If you want these, check the description. I'll have the seller down there. Anyways, my name is John. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I do upload videos every single day. I'm out.